sir, just doing a festive ride. Any alcoholic beverages? The festive ride program has returned to Muskoka with the start of the holiday season on the horizon. That means more officers making it a priority to stop vehicles and check for impaired drivers, something that Detachment Commander Jason Nichols says is sorely needed. Within the past uh, few weeks, we've had several impaired drivers that were located uh, before 8 o'clock in the morning. So quite often we'll stick our head into a motor vehicle and we'll ask if you've had any alcohol at all to drink today. And the answer is, well, why would I? It's only 8 in the morning. Um, it, it is happening in all hours of the day and night. Uh, so you will see us uh, in various locations throughout the day and at various times. So what will officers be looking for exactly when they pull you over? Any type of impairment that would uh, render a person incapable uh, of driving a motor vehicle is what they're going to be searching for. They're, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a lighthearted, it's meant to be a lighthearted interaction with the, with the purpose of identifying people that are operating a motor vehicle under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Uh, but it's also very serious and uh, and I think that as long as the, the motoring public maintains a little bit of patience with us in times like this, you can see the traffic that's formulating here uh, with the understanding that we are doing this with uh, with their best interests at heart. The importance of, of bringing this back uh, this year I think uh, can't be understated with the, uh, the, the traffic safety initiative that is part of the regional uh, mandate, uh, provincial mandate and the detachment mandate as, uh, as I've talked to you about in the past. Um, it's great to see the officers out and I hope the public uh, appreciates the fact that we're going to be here to try and ensure uh, public safety.